guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here i do hair videos and life advice videos if you want to see any of those i have the playlist right here everything on my channel is very organized um before we get started i'm the ogs know this background i had to bring it back but i'm looking at myself like i have never been this pale in my life okay this winter being home is sucking the melanin out of me and we're gonna fix that we're gonna fix that i have a vacation coming up but that's not what today's video is about okay so i gave alma oil a try and i want to tell you what happened and i want to make sure i'm pronouncing that right i'm so sorry about that because i'm not prepared it's given not prepared hold on alma oil amla oil okay okay don't click off just yet don't click off just yet so like i said if you clicked on today's video i gave amla oil a try and you know this channel is about my hair journey and me trying different things out i'm not professional by any means and i just want to make sure that that's clear to start but yes yeah, so this is the result of a bake chop this is my hair 100 natural my natural curls and i know that amla oil was something i was very like not trending but the girls were picking it up and you know giving it a try and i said well why don't i just test it out so um i know it was popping around last year but i kind of want to try it again recently and see see what the craze was about see what it was all about i have you know my notes in front of me to tell y'all everything i'm gonna import little videos here and there in the video so you know i got the whole process on camera and we're gonna go through that together i'm gonna let you know what i thought you know and just kind of educa educate you guys on how it works what it's good for and you know just in case you want to get started trying it so before we even talk about what it did for me and how i felt and whatever let's talk about the history of it because i think that's very important it's not just some random oil at your store like there's a history to it so i just want to pay my respect and make sure that that's clear to everybody watching all sources that i'm referencing today will be in the description below so that you can refer to those if you need to fact check anything want to read up more that's all in the description so refresh your life the source that i'm using they say that amla oil is extracted from the fruit of the amla tree it is native to india and also grows in warm humid climates and amla oil is commonly used for hair care people usually use it to protect their hair from the sun more benefits that i found of amla oil are it prevents gray hair which i'm at that phase of my life it can work as a natural hair conditioner it can help soothe dry and irritated scalp it protects and strengthens the hair it improves the thickness and volume of your hair and it can, can help improve the hair texture as well it can control dandruff which is a common problem for me it can treat lice it can work as a scalp cleanser it is considered a nourishing oil so it is rich in vitamin c and other essential nutrients that help to improve the condition of the hair it can improve shine and can prevent breakage wow like you know when i found all that i was like girl i'm ready i'm ready like it's given so many options so many things that can help me and i was like yes let's give it a try so i copped one and um this is the one i got put on the screen and it's a really big bottle and i didn't need to use a lot for the first time so i was like okay this is gonna last me a while so let's talk about you know how to put it on correctly right and i i looked it up to just make sure i was doing it right so basically what they say to do is and i want to apologize in advance because when i was filming it i didn't realize how close i was to the camera but we got it we got it filmed right that's that's all that matters so you're supposed to pour some into your hands you know the standard pour the oil into your hands rub it into your hands and then go ahead and you know you apply it to the scalp and the hair you just want to make sure you evenly coat it
Then after you're done, and I have a lot of hair, so that took me a while. But after you're done, then you're going to put on a shower cap. Then after you have the shower cap on, you're going to leave it for 15 minutes to an hour. Now, I know that's a big range of time. You're like, okay, is it 15 minutes? Is it an hour? Like, what is better? What is, you know? I did an hour for me because I just like to be busy. So I just put it an hour and I just let it hang out, right? And I found that the more i had like the longer i had it on like you know my normal body temperature was heating up the oil and stuff so i want to say that that kind of helped it more so i don't know it might vary per person but online it says it's best to do 15 to an hour and then after you're done you are supposed to wash your hair rinse it out you know do the do your your what's it called your your hair routine i just one on a blank sorry so something that was happening a lot when people were trying this was there was a lot of criticizing and a lot of people weren't liking it that certain people were expressing the their comments about the smell now i was a little off put because i was scared that it was going to be horrible because that's what everybody made it seem like and i'll just be honest with you guys and i'm very sensitive to smells like i'll get a headache type of sensitive off the bat yes it's a very strong smell is it a bad smell no think like in a loving way like grandma like it's very strong musky very like just very scented like a really good candle like and i mean no disrespect you know i'm trying to make I'm trying to make it clear to you guys that it doesn't stink and i feel like a lot of people were making it seem that way yes it's an acquired smell maybe some people might hate it maybe some people might love it maybe some people might be indifferent i was indifferent but after a while i was like okay this needs to get washed out because it's very strong that's really all i could say about that like it wasn't anything like disgusting you know what I mean? like it's like it's the wrong smell like like if you have it on you walk by people they'll know kind of smell like you know what i mean but not in a bad way kind of like a, oh she she has a strong perfume on or she has like a strong lotion on like that's really all i i really gather from that and as far as results go i honestly saw a lot of shine um i've heard also that amla oil helps darken the hair that's not really something i go for but i do i don't know if it's picking up on camera today but my hair does usually have this like red hue red tint to it naturally like a red brown and i did kind of find that it made my hair seem a little bit darker and i was like okay you know cute the grays were still there obviously you know they don't just run away it definitely helped with the dandruff of my dry scalp i have i do tend to suffer from dry scalp it helped a bunch and it was definitely something that I enjoyed doing like on a weekend and just kind of letting it simmer in my hair and I definitely feel like I did find see the results I did also feel that I had to double shampoo to get it out you know because it is a strong scent I don't want to use the word odor like scent is better but if you don't mind the smell I don't really think you need to double shampoo it but it, it, it was a very heavy oil so it's like you know and, and they say that it, it's like a very fatty kind of oil so it does take multiple washes to get it out so I you know I made sure to wash my hair like a few times with shampoo and then I did my hair routine but all in all I did find my curls to look way better I'm gonna insert the results here you know do i feel like it thickened it any more than what it already is i really it's hard for me to tell if my hair is thicker or not because it already is very thick so um i'm sure it possibly i can't really tell so i'll be honest with you about it. working as a natural hair conditioner i feel like my hair felt a little bit softer yes i will say it did feel a little bit softer and i you know I enjoyed it i did enjoy it i i know that i know that an oil or like a little trend or a mask or whatever is good for me when i'm done and my hair feels soft lightweight like i did something so yes i definitely definitely i definitely co-sign amla oil and then another thing too is like it reduces frizz is what they said and i definitely felt like that frizz was absolutely less absolutely less so um all in all i want to rate this oil at 
9 out of 10. I don't want to say 10 out of 10 because the grays didn't come off. No, I'm just kidding. We can give it a 10 out of 10. It was a really great oil and I'm noticing the lights in my room are like dimming. But um, thank you guys for watching today's video. It was a really great oil. I really think you guys should try it. I don't know if you'd want to try it every week because it, like I said, the, the odor, I mean, the smell is just really strong and not in a bad way. But, you know, it's it's takes extra effort to take it out. But other than that, guys, I definitely saw results. I definitely enjoyed it. And will I be trying it again? Yes. And would I recommend it? Yes. So make sure to leave some love on my video before you leave. And I always have this issue with my lights. They're about to turn off. Look, do y'all see like the shadow happening on this video? I am dying. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below what you want to see me try next. I am open to many ideas. I have a lot of ideas in mind. And I just want to make sure that I'm providing as many ideas for you guys as well but definitely this was a fun oil to try on my hair if you have any recommendations let me know thank you for watching and if you want to see my other videos again i have the playlist of my hair videos and my life advice videos and i appreciate you for clicking on today's video i'll see you in the next one bye